For Office 365, Microsoft has multiple different ways of getting access to making changes to your Exchange environment using PowerShell. One way is to use Exchange Online, which is a video I did previously, which you can check out in this playlist. However, another way is what's called Office 365 PowerShell. Now this has a lot more commands, it's more up to date, and it is the way that Microsoft is going in the future. So you'll need to go to download a program, unlike Exchange Online, where you can just pull up PowerShell and connect to it. Uh, this new Office 365 PowerShell has to have a program that you have to download. So the first thing you want to do is go to Microsoft and put in this 41950. That's the knowledge base article where you can get this program. And when you go to the download, make sure you choose 64-bit if you're operating system 64-bit. And you can always check the uh, system properties in your control panel to see what version you have. After you click download, then you're going to get this new executable, which is this Microsoft Online program. If you double click on it, then basically you just run through the setup. Just do next, 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 finish. I've already installed it, so you see the I have the option to repair or remove it, but you'll have the option to install it, and it's a fairly quick installation. Once it's installed, you're going to see this new icon, Microsoft Azure Active Directory Modules for Windows PowerShell. So kind of a mouthful, but really it's Office 365 PowerShell. And if you go down to your Start button, you'll also see it at the top of your list where it says Recently Added. All right, so now we've installed it. Let's go ahead and use it. So there's a couple of commands we have to do in order to get it to work. Now, if you want to make the icons a little easier to see, just go ahead and go to the properties, expand that. You'll get this error, but don't worry about it. Click OK, and it makes it larger anyway. So now we've made it so we can all see it, and our PowerShell for Office 365 has been installed. Now we need to connect to it. So the first thing we want to type is connect-msol service. Enter. And now you're prompted for your username and password. So we'll go ahead and put that in. Now this is my email address for my admin account in Office 365. Enter the password. And now I'm connected. Still one more thing we need to do, and that is we need to get a list of all the different types of commands that we can use for Office 365 PowerShell. So for instance, if you were in the Exchange Online, you would just type get-mailbox to see a list of all the mailboxes. But you don't get that in the Office 365 version. So to get mailboxes, you would type get-msol user, and there's the list of all of our users, and of course they have mailboxes. So unfortunately, the commands that work with Exchange Online are not going to work with the Azure, Azure Active Directory module. So we need to get the list of the various different types of commands. And you can get those from docs.microsoft.com, or you can just do a Google search for the MS Online uh, uh, Azure commands. Lots of different ways you can type that in. So um, this particular document gives us lots of different PowerShell commands we can use to display information, create new users, and things like that. So take a look at uh, this particular URL, and you can also do searches for others. And just make sure you're using the Office 365 PowerShell commands rather than the Exchange Online commands. So that's how we get into the MS Online Azure Active Directory module or Office 365 PowerShell, which is definitely the way that we want to go uh, going forward with Microsoft Office 365.